Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be reviewing the new Inform Hakim Ziyech. Yep, I can never say his name correctly, but he has been one of my favorite players in FIFA the past few years. So let's see how his Inform actually uh, turns out. So, if we're just breaking down his stats, he has 82 pace, 85 excel, 79 sprint speed. The shooting stats are a little bit lacking. 84 positioning, 75 finishing, 85 shot power. Apart from that, nothing really to write home about. Well, 79 long shots, but that's about it. His passing, now his passing is absolutely incredible. 90 vision, 89 crossing, 79 free kick accuracy, 87 shot, 90 long pass, and 91 curve. His dribbling stats are looking at 86 agility, 79 balance, that's a lie, and I'll get to that in a minute. 85 reactions, 86 ball control, 84 dribbling, that's also a lie. 80 composure, defending nothing really to write home about, and his stamina is 81. Like, that's maybe a lie, but we'll have to get into that. All right, why am I calling some of his stats a lie? So. This card is one of my favorite cards I've used in this game. Not even lying, like, it, this is absolutely phenomenal. So let's get into it. So first of all, his dribbling. The amount of times I have just like received the ball back to the defender, whipped out a step over, and then turned around and started sprinting and got away from the defender is quite ridiculous. So yeah, his dribbling ability along with his 5 star skill moves, his 5 star skill moves make this card incredibly fun. I love this card on the wing. Yes, I am using him on the wing. I thought with 82 pace he would be absolutely horrible on the wing, but I don't like to use him on the uh, in the center. The reason why I don't like to use him in the cam or maybe a center mid, he has a 2 star weak foot. That's a little bit of an issue. Now, I have noticed when he's crossing the ball, he crosses it with his right foot. And you're seeing in some of the clips and some of the future clips that you're seeing, when he whips the ball in, it's always precise. It's always on the money. That might be due to his long passing at 90 or his crossing at 89. But you think that two-star weak foot hitting it with his right foot, that would deteriorate his uh, right foot a little bit. But every time he crosses that ball in with his right foot, he absolutely whips that ball in right on the money. He even takes my corners and he's, you know, got gets the head for the corner as well and gets an assist. Just absolutely phenomenal at passing the ball. Now the reason why I say his agility and balance might be a bit of a lie in his dribbling. Obviously I've expressed my dribbling. He's absolutely a phenomenal dribbler of this ball. Someone goes in for a slide tackle, he jumps over them and continues his, his dribble. Like, he's absolutely ridiculous at doing that. But his agility and balance, it, it feels like they're in the 90s, not gonna lie. He doesn't feel like... Obviously, 70, 79 balance, you think, hmm, he might be a bit stocky. But he's 5'11", so he's not... Obviously, he's not that stocky. And it's just, guys, his dribbling. I cannot express how much I love this card's dribbling. You see 84, I see Messi. Like, it's just literally, he's such a good dribbler of the ball. And just noticing on Footbin, he has technical dribbler uh, <laughs> and flair. So, of course, he's a phenomenal dribbler. But, yeah, he if you want a, an absolutely incredible dribbler of the ball for your right wing, I'd argue I'd pr I'm probably going to keep him instead of... Uh, I normally run Lucas as my right wing. I'm probably going to put Ziyech as my right wing. Now, in terms of your team instructions, now, it's kind of tricky to determine what you should have. I'd say because of his 81 stamina, you don't really want him running up and down on the field. But to be honest, he didn't really seem like he was getting tired, like 85, 80 to 85 minutes into the game. So, and I normally have my right wings go up front and then my actual cam slide over to the right. It's kind of hard to explain. So it's sort of like we defend as a 4-4-2 rather than a 4-3-3. Because I think a 4-4-2 defensively is a, hot, is a lot better. So I have my right wing go up front. So obviously then he's not really defending. But I think if you have him come in running up and down the field with uh, your right mid, right back, I think he will actually be, do a decent job at doing that. Obviously, his defensive stats aren't that great, but at being another body in the defensive area, I think he, I think he'd be fine at doing that. Now, in terms of how I'd actually play with this card, as I said, whipping the ball in with his right foot isn't really too bad. Like he hits them on the money. So whether you want him as an inside forward where he cuts in on his left, he's great at doing that as well. Um, or if you actually want to whip the ball in. It creates a very unpredictable factor with this card, just because, again, his amazing dribbling can bring him onto his left foot really easily, or do a nice step over and then do a burst of pace down the wing and whip a ball in. There's such an unpredictability with this card and what you could do. It's just incredible. Now, no guesses for what uh, chem style we're going to be using. If we chuck a hunter on him, it gives him 92 pace, because you always have to see it. Uh, shooting goes up to 89 positioning, 85 finishing, uh, 90 shot power, 91 volleys. So, 
yeah, Hunter's the main one you want. You could, if you want to be absolutely adventurous at being a uh, cross merchant, uh, do Catalyst to increase his uh, crossing up to 99, but I really don't think it's really worth doing that. Give him a uh, Hunter so he can cut in on his left and whip an absolute finesse shot into the far corner. And yeah, he's just... Yeah, he's an absolutely phenomenal card. Now in terms of the ratings, obviously 10 for expectation because when I pl when I first loaded into the game, I was like, right, he might be, he's gonna be a he's gonna be good, but I don't expect him to be absolutely amazing. So I put him in the team with follow other informs, and I went into max chemistry to kind of you know t try them all out. Yeah, he ended up being the star of the show. He he kept being the one I kept feeding the ball to on the attack, getting past defenders really easily, whipping a ball in, cutting on the left, just passing the ball across the face of the box. Absolutely phenomenal. Now his price at the moment is about 60k. Now, because of rewards and stuff like that, his price is gonna come way down. So I've sold mine. I will definitely be picking him up for Weekend League. No doubt about that. So guys, that's it for the review. If you guys have enjoyed the review, please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around you. See you guys later, take care, and peace.